Internal reconciliation refers to the matching and clearing of open credit and debit amounts within an account. Most internal reconciliations are performed automatically by SAP Business One, called system reconciliations, like when an incoming payment is based on an AR invoice. However, there are some internal reconciliations that the user must perform themselves, called user reconciliations. We can use the internal reconciliation function within SAP Business One to perform user reconciliations. To access the internal reconciliation window for business partners, navigate to Business Partners, Internal Reconciliations, and Reconciliation. You can use this function to match and clear previous transactions that have not already been matched automatically within the system, like open invoices and payments on account. From the Business Partner Internal Reconciliation window, you can choose the reconciliation type that you want to use. Manual is useful when working with a small number of transactions or cases where transactions are posted to more than one business partner. Automatic reconciles a large amount of transactions based on user-defined parameters or priorities. Semi-automatic is used to manually reconcile based on recommendations provided by the system. For this example, we will select the manual type. Once you have manual selected, you can choose to include inactive business partners, multiple business partners, and consider connected business partners. The Include Inactive Business Partners checkbox will add the inactive business partners to the business partner drop down menu. The Multiple Business Partner checkbox will allow you to view multiple business partners at once while reconciling. Finally, the Consider Connected Business Partners checkbox will look at any other business partner that may be tied to the one selected. For our example, we will begin by looking at only one business partner. First, select the business partner you want to reconcile from the drop-down list next to the field business partner. The reconcile date should already be filled in with today's date. If you want to reconcile for a specific period of time, you can do so by checking the date checkbox under the transaction selection criteria. From there, you can select from the drop-down menu if you want to look at the posting date, due date, or document date. Then proceed to enter in the desired date range to the right. Once you have entered the correct information, you can click the Reconcile button at the bottom of the window. This will display the Internal Reconciliation window. In this window will be any transactions that have occurred according to the previously selected criteria. You can drill down into the journal entry tied to the transaction through the golden arrow found in the Transaction Number field. The Origin field will let you drill down into the document that is related to the transaction. After those two fields, you can look at the origin number of the transaction, the posting date, amount, balance due, amount to reconcile, and the details of the transaction. In our example, the business partner sent a partial payment before the AR invoice was created and later sent in the rest of the payment. Select both incoming payments and the AR invoice to highlight them. If there is a discount on the AR invoice, you will need to manually enter it in the cash discount column for the corresponding AR invoice only if there are two payments associated with this invoice. Note, you can only reconcile invoices with a cash discount if you have one business partner selected to reconcile. The amount to reconcile column must total zero at the bottom in order for the transactions to reconcile. With the transaction selected and the discount entered, you can click the reconcile button at the bottom to reconcile the transactions. Now let's take a look at two business partners simultaneously. On the BP Internal Reconciliation window, select the Multiple Business Partners checkbox. This will make a table appear below that will allow you to choose more than one business partner under the BP Code field. Once you have selected the business partners, you can click Reconcile. On the Internal Reconciliation window, locate the transactions that need to be reconciled together. For our example, a business partner sent a check to pay for two AR invoices that are tied to two separate divisions within the company. We must select the two AR invoice transactions as well as the incoming payment to link the payment to the two transactions. Once all three are selected, we can click the Reconcile button at the bottom of the window. If a customer short pays on an AR invoice and you are fine with just writing off the rest of the amount, you can do so within the Internal Reconciliation window. Another way you can access the Internal Reconciliation window for the desired business partner is by going to the Business Partner Master Data. Now find the business partner you want to reconcile and click the golden arrow next to Account Balance. 
This will bring you to the account balance screen. Here you can look at all the transactions that pertain to the selected business partner. From this window, you can drill down into the transaction number to look at the journal entry that pertains to the transaction, or you can look at the corresponding document by clicking on the golden arrow next to the origin number. The balance due column will indicate which transactions are still open and need to be paid. If you need to refine the results, at the top of the window you can change the posting date range, how many transactions are displayed, and if you want to display only the unreconciled transactions. From the account balance window, click the internal reconciliation button at the bottom right of the window to display the internal reconciliation window. Then click the checkbox for the transactions and click the adjustments box at the bottom of the window. Now to write off the amount, we will create a journal entry for the remainder of the balance. In our example, we will debit the amount to the write-offs account and credit the business partner's account. In the remarks field, enter in something to indicate that this journal entry is meant to write off an account. Once the journal entry is correct, click the add button. Now a new transaction for the journal entry we just created should appear and already be selected. With both transactions selected, we can click the reconcile button at the bottom of the window to finalize the reconciliation. If we go back to the account balance window for the customer we reconciled, the AR invoice and incoming payment will no longer appear on the window since they have been reconciled. If you want to view them again in this window, you will need to uncheck the Display Unreconciled Transactions Only checkbox. Now you will see all the reconciled transactions that pertain to the defined parameters at the top right of the window. The AR invoice and incoming payment that have just been reconciled should appear at the bottom of the list if they are the most recent transactions reconciled for this business partner. The amount used to write off the remainder of the payment and the discount on the invoice will also display in this window. Since the transactions were reconciled, there will no longer be a balance in the balance due field. Performing user internal reconciliations with an SAP Business One is a great way of reconciling open invoices and payments that are not tied to related transactions within the system. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.